Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Cave Story Plus. So, in the last episode, we fought Balrog twice, actually, and found the gum base, and, uh, we don't have the charcoal or the jelly juice yet. Is that bomb ready yet? So we need to grab those materials to make the bomb to get this Kazuma get Kazuma Kazumi, I need to check. No, it doesn't say, never mind. Because we don't technically know his name, I don't think. I mean, it's a fair assumption that, you know, who it is, but I'm not sure if our character knows yet who it is, so. Charcoal, jellyfish juice, and gum base. Okay, it's not just hidden there or something, that would be so annoying. Die, monster! You don't belong in this world! I know the jellyfish juice is going to be here. The charcoal is actually probably in the fireplace. That's where it is. So I have to drop by Santa as well. I'm over here. Or Chokas, but, you know, either or. I'm not really sure. I'm gonna drop by Santa's first. Go level up. Uh, well, I've already finished off so many of these guys. I'm just gonna take care of this first, actually. Bring these up and level a little bit. Yes, I am just trying to keep my stuff at max level the entire game. Hush, you. I don't need a perfectionist joke or anything. Perfect. Joyfish juice. There we go. Now that that jellyfish is dead once again and we have more of its juice, we can head into here and get fire. Hopefully this is the right fireplace. You want some charcoal? If it's charcoal from the fireplace you want, then go ahead and take it. Which means I need to use it. Something within the ashes, obtain some charcoal. Now I need to get another jellyfish juice. I'm glad I did the jellyfish juice beforehand. Actually, while I'm here, save. Refill our missiles and health, even though the health was already full and the missiles were probably already full. More joyfish juice, as you know, we need three throughout this entire bullcrap thing. Come on, Popstar, you can do this. So, when it comes to the straight and narrows, uh, I think the Popstar is actually the best. It deals quite a bit of damage and has rapid fire and infinite ammo. The fireball is good on these hills just for clearing small enemies, but is no good with the large ones. And the missile launcher eliminates everything in its path but has extremely limited ammo, and as such won't be really u that useful except for boss fights until later, or hordes. Like, in this kind of situation... I mean, it killed... <sighs> Never mind, it wasn't worth it. It was not worth it all. It hit the thing way up there and... Had to 
be out of the way of that. And we're done. Let's head up here and save. Well, n before we save. We have everything we need. Okay, come on. Wonder if any of them will... None of them gave what I needed. I don't have any more health. Great. But I do have all the materials for this little robo. Oh, it's some charcoal and jellyfish and the gum base too. I forgot this was a robot. I will commence making the bomb immediately. It is complete. Obtain the bomb. Now go and blow up that door. Time to set this guy free. Bomb's been set. I probably should talk to him first. Oh, right! I'm short. <laughs> you did well, boy. Just take one look and I knew. I knew you could do it. Um, my name is Kazuma Sakamoto. But please, call me Kazuma. Luckily, I was able to escape from the doctor, but then I was teleported here. It felt like I was about to die of total starvation. You're a real lifesaver. By the way, have you heard of a place called Mimiga Village? Sue? You know Sue? I see. So you've come to get me in place of Sue. I understand. Let's go. Take me to the village. Huh? Is that you, Kazuma? Professor Booster! So you're safe? Yes, somehow. And how Sue? Is she safe? Sue's in Mimiga Village. This boy will get us there. Oh. Do you know him? Mm, no. Um, actually, we just met. Anyway, let's hurry and get to Sue's location. The doctor has started to gather the Mimiga. It appears he's taken notice of the red flowers. But Sue is a... Will the red flowers work on Sue as well? Just like the others? Kazuma. The doctor has commenced snatching the Mimiga. Do you understand what this means? So, the doctor in the war? That's right. And now we're the only ones who can stop him. But how are we going to stop the doctor? I have no idea. At any rate, let's hurry and get back to Sue. We'll discuss this when we're there. I want you to come too. Alright. So, this doctor obviously already knows us. I mean, that's not even a question. He's just the most suspicious character in the world. Let's see what this is. Use of this teleport is currently suspended. I don't understand why. But I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. I'm counting on you. Lead us to Mamiga Village. Kazuma. Yes? Does that thing work? Yeah, looks like it still does. It won't stop! They just hopped on without even testing it first. Like, checking it. I mean, it could have been defective or something. But, what's the chance of that happening, right? I mean, some really old, uh, little things, little, uh, friggin' jet skis over there. I mean, what's the chance of it being, uh, defective, right? Alright, come on. Stupid thing. I love how floaty everything feels. It's like, for this one area, everything's just the floatiest it could be, and it feels really nice. Yes. Got through with minimal... Well, the bike broke. I <laughs> can already prove that. Actually, before we leave this area, because I doubt we'll be coming back here anytime soon, 
I want to drop in here at Santa's house. I heard a crash of some kind. Then what sounded like someone screaming. Well, that's not good to hear. Save while we're here. And now let's move on. Teleport back. Were weapons of death? Yes. The doctor plans to use the red flower to have all of you attack the humans. And why would he do such an awful thing? The doctor is like a devil. Will he force Toriko to eat the red flower? The doctor is still searching for the red flower. It's good if he hasn't found the location yet. But if... If he finds the red flower, Toriko will be... She'll be filled with rage and turn into a weapon of death. I won't let that happen. Ouch. Are you okay? Yes, but I really thought that we weren't going to make it. Huh? Kazuma! Professor Booster! Oh. How have you been? Surviving. Hmm. And that Mamiga is? I don't know the voices I'm doing anymore. His name is King. He's the leader of this village and also a friend of mine. Many Mamiga used to live here in Mamiga Village, but most of them were taken away by the doctor. King's friends were also... I just want to point something out here. This is still here. Flowers? Red flowers. We fought multiple Mamiga that were insane. Good work. The bike is a complete wreck, but somehow we made it. The doctor's scheme is moving along as planned. We need to hurry and do something about it. Toriko, as a weapon of death, I won't allow it. Welcome back. Seems like I owe you uh, yet another one. With Kozama, yeah, Kazuma here, I'm sure we'll be able to handle the password for that egg. Professor Booster, can we bring him along? Eh. Professor? Huh? Sue. So, our escape must be put on hold for now. The doctor has found the location of the red flowers. <gasps> huh? As of yet, he doesn't have his hands on them, but it's only a matter of time before he does. I swear you guys don't know the fact- Can I not tell you the fact that I fought multiple Mamiga that were deranged with flowers? Their location in the sand zone. I've heard that the red flowers are there. Sand zone? So if we go there, we we will find the doctor? <clears throat> I fear that it's- I fear the doctor minions that would be presumed we go. We must eradicate the red flowers before they get their hands on them. However, Sand Zone is a very dangerous place. If we go there, whether or not we make it back alive isn't... Are you giving up then? Actually, no. We have just the right person here with us now. You. What is he? Hmm. Well, he is an armed recon robot that was dispatched to that island ten years ago. A robot? I heard that when they were all... D I heard that they were all destroyed after the war. However, I don't know the exact details. Perhaps one of them... Professor. I'm connected to the... I've connected us to the Sand Zone Teleporter. Heh. <laughs> you are the most ideal among us to search the island. Please, help us. Well, what do you say, King? Sand Zone, huh? If there are no more red flowers, we can hopefully avoid the war. Well, that's a pretty heavy responsibility, you think? You can travel to Sansa with this teleporter. Search for the red flowers and burn them all. I'm gonna save real quick, because I can. Hmm, should I start the next area yet? Hmm. You're the one from 10 years ago, aren't you? I didn't realize it all until just now. You're indeed well made. I don't know what you're talking about, but all right. Um. I don't think there's anything I can do but go. So, we start off the sand zone. Next time on Let's Play Cat... I almost said Castlevania for some reason. Cave Story Plus. I've been... I really want to buy a Castlevania game. I'm looking on my Wii U and I just don't want to spend that money even though I'm looking at it so badly. Now, like I was saying, next time on Let's Play Cave Story Plus, we're moving on to the sand zone. See you guys then.